Home Department, Sir Samuel Hall, Conservative, Chelsea. I rise in this stage of the debate to explain the policy of the British government upon this last phase <coughs> of this tragic problem. Before dealing with the details that have been raised in the cause of the debate, I wish to make it clear to the whole House that this government accepts this motion. I think it would be useful at this stage if honourable members on all sides of the House were given further information about the problem in the United Kingdom and about the way in which the Home Office is attempting to deal with it. Let me begin by reminding the House of some of the difficulties. It is quite obvious that there is an underlying current of suspicion and anxiety, rightly or wrongly, about alien immigration on any big scale. Faced with a fact of that kind, while I think very few honourable members look upon this problem with greater sympathy than I do, I have to be careful to avoid anything in the nature of mass immigration, which, in my view, would inevitably lead to the growth of a movement which we'd all wish to see suppressed. I come to the next very important question of the non area Jewish children. I think here again, we can deal with a problem of that kind very differently from the way in which we have to check in detail the individual positions of the older refugees. I think there will be children with whom we could deal in large numbers, provided that they were sponsored by responsible bodies and indeed responsible individuals. 